How you guys doing? Thanks for tuning in. We are here in West Yellowstone at the headquarters of Yellowstone Live before the show. Yellowstone Live tonight at 8, 7 central. And we're here with Steve, who has a special guest with us. Steve, can you introduce us? Yeah, this is Liberty, and Liberty is a bald eagle. Uh, the reason Liberty in captivity is she lit on a power pole. Uh, it was in Montana, and she came in contact with a wire, got a severe electrical shock. And although she still got her wing, it, her motor skills aren't what they should be. And so she's what they consider a non-releasable eagle. Uh, we have her and use her for educational purposes. Uh, she's currently uh, 32 years old. Oh, wow. Well, she's beautiful. Thank you so much for bringing her. Um, guys, just want to let you know, comment below with any questions, and we'll get to them as, as soon as possible. Can you tell us a little bit more about bald eagles yeah, and the uh, history of Of course, them? bald eagles are unique to North America. Uh, they're found nowhere else. Some people think called bald eagles because they thought maybe their heads looked like they didn't have feathers on them, but that isn't the case. The word bald in Old English meant white. Mm -hmm. And so when they were first seeing bald eagles, they were calling them the white-headed eagle. But being that it is unique to North America, uh, you know, I think it was a, a good to show them their And of course, you see plenty of bald eagles here in Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. uh, bald eagles are fish eaters, so you always find them near rivers. And uh, that did at one point get him into a little bit of trouble because of uh, chemical pesticides. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, DDT was the culprit that put the bald eagle on the endangered species list a few years back. But today they're doing a lot better. Great. So the, the population had a decline, but uh, you know it's changed since. Yeah, they banned DDT and uh, eagles have made a strong comeback. In fact, in some areas today they're almost as numerous as they've been in the past. Oh, great. Can you tell us a little bit more about their nests and some of their habitat? Yeah, eagles uh, build a huge nest. They make it of sticks. Uh, they, they mate for life. And now, Liberty is a female. The reason I know that is because a male is a third smaller than a female in birds of prey, so females are quite a bit larger. Their nests are made of sticks, and they return to the same nest each year. They mate for life, and eagles uh, can live to be over 40 years old. Uh, in fact, in captivity, they live even much longer than that. Uh, they usually have two to three eggs, more likely two, and uh, often they only raise one little eaglet. Uh, a young eagle won't have that white head. Mm. They're completely dark, and uh, they won't get the white head until they're about four or five years old. Uh, they completely re rely on their parents for everything, so they're, they're, uh, they're not like a little duck that can jump in the water and swim. They, the parents have to care for them from the minute they hatch takes them about 16 weeks before they uh, get all their feathers and begin to start exercising their wings to leave the nest. So I know that bald eagles have a little bit of an interesting mating ritual. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Is it called the death spiral? Uh, well, you know, that's, that's a little bit of a misconception because people see eagles with their feet locked spinning in the air. Mm -hmm. uh, that actually is a territorial display usually between two males. Oh, okay. And the males are fighting and sometimes they hit the ground and, and one eagle gets killed uh, not or injured, I wouldn't say killed, but we did have an instance. I uh, do a, a bird show at a zoo in Salt Lake City, and we had a call about some eagles landing in someone's backyard. They said one of them couldn't fly away, and what was exactly that? It was two golden eagles that were in that death spiral, and they hit the ground. Uh, one of the eagles was actually injured, and we had to take it into a rehabilitator. Oh, wow. So, but no, the, 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 they do courtship flights that are spectacular where they fold up their wings and dive at the, out of the sky. And that, it's called an undulating flight where they go up and then they go down and they go up and they down. It is courtship flight. They do a lot of vocalization, but the actual breeding takes place on, on top of a, a, a rock on a ridge. Okay, thanks for, <laughs> so we have a question from YouTube. Thanks so much for uh, sending in some questions. Continue to comment below with questions. We'll answer as many as possible. So we have one from Dora. Uh, she asks, can all birds of prey dive for fish? Uh, not all birds eat fish, so there are specific birds that like fish, particularly ospreys and bald eagles. Uh, there are other types of fish eagles throughout the world, but in North America, the two birds that primarily eat fish are ospreys mm -hmm. and bald eagles, which you'll see plenty of it here in Yellowstone. And then we have another question from YouTube. Do bald eagles have predators? Uh, not really. Uh, sometimes I would think they would get into a bit of a conflict with golden eagles, but they pretty much hold their own. Bald eagles at the top of the food chain, and generally uh, they they pretty much can hold their own against any predator. So they really don't have any natural predators. Uh, pretty much mankind is the only enemy they have. 
So I'm looking at Liberty and she has gorgeous eyes up close. I hope you guys can see it. Can you tell us a little bit more about the bald eagle's vision and well, its importance? Birds of prey have incredible vision. They have, it's the way the eye is designed with more rods than cones. And uh, their ability to pick up movement and see movement in the distance, probably nine times keener than ours. So uh, to have eyes like an eagle is certainly a compliment. <laughs> Great, well guys, make sure to tune in tonight for Yellowstone Live at 8, 7 Central. We'll be live right here. If you can't make it, DVR will be here starting tonight for four nights. So make sure to tune in to National Geographic. Thanks so much for joining us.